Tip number 39. Be careful how you order pins on your connectors. This is very important one. I'm going to explain. Many times when uh, you are designing uh, your own board, you are using connectors and uh, you may want to decide on uh, what is going to be connected to your connector and how the signals on the connector are going to be ordered. Yeah, that's really up to you. So what do you think? Can you just connect the signals in any order on the connector or maybe you should be considering something? Something what could help you to decide how to order the signals on the connector. One of the things what you really may want to consider is how you place ground and power supply pins. I'm going to give you an example. I'm curious if you will find out. Now let's say I've seen it many times, okay? I've seen it connected this way many times on many connectors. Consider that on this pin one you connect 3.3 uh, volt and on this uh, pin 14 you will connect ground. What may not be or why this may not be the best way to connect this connector plus on pin 1 and ground on pin 14? Many, many, many times may happen that people, your customer or even sometimes you may plug in the connector, the cable, the mating connector, the other way around. What will happen if you connect the connector the other way around when the plus is on the pin number one and the ground is on pin 14? You will basically connect ground to power and power to ground. So you will make short circuit or you will reverse the polarity of the voltage. So what may happen is one of the boards may be damaged or maybe even both boards can be damaged or the power supply may be damaged or nothing will be damaged. But who knows? Yeah? As I said, I've seen it. I even had a client uh, who specifically asked me, please be very, very careful about this because we had one design when someone designed the power input power connector they design it the way that when you plug it in the other way around you damage completely the board because you connected the power the other way around here is an example how power connector maybe should be designed yeah like this nothing is going to happen when you plug it in the other way around nothing is going to happen be very careful about this i've seen it many times and what you may want to consider is uh, not only how the power pins are placed, but also you may want to think about the uh, output pins. Yeah, For example, you don't want to connect two output pins together. Placing connector the other way around, it happened many times. So you really should consider it when you are deciding on the pin out of a, con uh, of a connector. Or use connector which can be plugged in the other way around. The other thing what you may want to consider is, uh, you know, when you plug in a cable, cable is not the best uh, thing for signals. Yeah, it is long, and the signals are uh, placed close to each other. So, for example, there may be crosstalk between the signals on the cable, on the ribbon cable, on the flex cable. So here in this connector, this connector is for a flex cable, what uh, you may want to consider is the neighbor pins for clock signal. For example, you may want to use them ground. You really don't want to use interrupt signal as a neighbor signal of a clock, which we <laughs> For the for the flex signal, which uh, for the flex cable, which will be connected here because of crosstalk. Yeah. 
also uh, here you can see so the clock is really separated by the grounds here or uh, the sensitive signals like recent and interrupts they are uh, routed together they are quite usually not really very active so they are routed together here is the i square c bus again separated by ground for the separation you don't need to use ground you can use also the power something what is always stable okay but don't place the interrupt with the clock signal together uh, be careful about the ribbon cables this is a flex cable so the signals on the flex cable they will be ordered exactly as the pins which are here but if you have a look on uh, a ribbon cable connector like this one you know what is going to be neighbor signal on the ribbon cable of this power led header signal yeah it's not going to be this user led header signal the neighbor signals on the ribbon cable is the signal connected to pin 1 and to pin 3 okay so don't get confused uh, the other thing what is important is uh, you always need to think about return current so many times happen I see huge connector with one ground connected here yeah now all these signals which are here the return current will only go through one point of the connector you may don't want to do it this way okay that's why many times we use a uh, lot of ground because uh, you know the current flowing back from the other board it needs to find a way somehow and uh, I think really really good or really really bad example of this uh, return current is the Arduino project you know uh, probably many people they know Arduino and this especially this analog connector which is here uh, this really may not be the best pin out for analog connector what is missing here what do you think the ground how the return current for these analog signals which are here how it is going to travel back to this board yeah you really really may want to place ground somewhere here okay be very careful don't forget tip number 39 be careful how you order pins on your connectors why for example you may want ground or power separate clock signal from the others it helps minimize crosstalk between signals on a cable you may want to consider how currents will flow and you may want to prevent board damage when the mating connector is inserted the other way around or when the cable is connected the other way around 